Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. Office Bloke Dan. Collectively in a room, all three of us make the Office Blokes. True yep. factual statement. We've got a new yep. segment coming soon where it's a mixture of Ask Us Anything and also Office Blokes Confidential Ooh. is coming out of retirement. Ooh. I know, it's exciting stuff. Big news for the best advice on the planet. It is. So if you need advice in your personal life um, and you feel the need to come to three uh, idiots not on boats, but just idiots <laughs> in a studio, uh, drop That's us an awesome. email, officeboxreact at gmail.com and we will sort your life out. Big Single time. handedly. Big time. All right, good. Yeah, there you go. Oh, we'll just take the mickey out of you. Yeah. Uh, right, the best of idiots in boats, 2023. Do we like idiots in boats? <laughs> Say what? I thought you pressed play. Then. I, thought I, thought you pressed play well. I heard a click. I thought you pressed Same play. <laughs> I think idiots in boats are worse than idiots in cars. Yeah. Yes. Like people in boats are good. I mean, everyone's pissed when you're on a boat yeah. for a start. There's no accountability. You don't need a license. It's no just, one gives a shit. It's the people. Wild West, yeah. isn't it? The guy who's driving, he's never drove a boat before. Yeah, but yeah. you're just allowed to do it. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. you go for it. Yeah. It's fine. What size of boat that you do need to actually be qualified? Is it just up to like ship sort of like liner, cruise liner level or? Like it's going to be below that. Yacht, it's going to be well below that. I would, I would, I would hope it's well below yeah, that. I, would, I guess that there's a certain size where probably think it depends on number of engines. I probably guess, guess you I reckon. Oh, right, it might yeah. even be number of passengers that. as well. Mm. You know, you might mm. be allowed passengers a, or the length uh, of the boat. I think or, you need, I think you need yeah. some kind of permit. Yeah, to, drive like a, to ride any boat in certain areas, right. certain countries. Yeah, you do on canals and stuff. But I don't think you do. I don't think you do a test. Of no. Yeah, it's more like it's more like an equivalent of road tax. Like an insurance, yeah, insurance sort of policy and the permit. So let's drive a boat. Oh. Yeah. Let's uh, let's watch some idiots in boats from 2023 then. This one time I wanted to go boating with my friends, but then I saw a video of someone hitting another boat at full Whoa. speed, which oh, made me nah. want to cancel my plan. I swear, these brainless zombies are everywhere, and today I'm going to show you a few reasons why. I think the water is just as hectic to be on as the roads. Let us begin with the video. Oh, Being at the right no. place at the right time. This person was able to catch a crash when a 110 meter long boat was cut off by an 8 meter long boat. Holy shit. Only one winner there. Yeah. That's not stopping, is it? A peaceful day of fishing came to an end for this fisherman when an idiot on a jet ski only knew how to go forward and oh. not turn. We have a runaway boat here, everyone, and the owner just let it rip and fell into the water. And the way it's moving, I don't think anyone's willing to get it. It's turning! All right. Just like a pile up on the highway. Yeah. I thought they happened. I thought they'd have one of those throttles like that that do. goes back down. Mm. Yeah, like a dead man's handle sort of thing. Yeah, you think so, wouldn't you? Well, you could always easy, easy to jam them though, aren't they? If you weren't. Able to. Yeah, I suppose. What's the point? I think it's your boat. Well, yeah. yeah, and well, you can well, dive out of it like an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, or fall out of it. Fall out of it. Yeah. These big boats are clustering in one spot. That white and blue one already seems like its days are numbered. <laughs> How the person vast who said that all how vast is the ocean? I know, how yeah. far can you see? <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah. It must be two hours worth of going. Are we getting close <laughs> to them? <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever been on a boat and like, and I'm like, you say to the, like the captain, you say like, you seen that boat on the right, yeah? And he's like, oh, you know, good job you told me. And then he's veered off. Well, thankfully, I haven't. Like, oh, Jesus, <laughs> like you know, it's not like they're not coming right at you. They're not like yeah. inches away, but it's sort of like heading. Sort of like yeah. you're both heading on the same trajectory yeah. of, of collision. Collision. Yeah. I've always had good experiences on boats never heard anything like that thankfully yeah. I'd much rather be on a boat than a plane put it that way all ideas are good ideas and there's no such thing as a bad idea I urge you to watch here. this video please she's gonna get on the other side she's gonna try miss this rescue boat needs to pull up instantly but they take too long and the waves just start pummeling them into the bigger ship Jesus hey yo jump on Oh, wow. Just like Shit. the salmon, wow. these guys try to go upstream and against the current, but the only difference between them and the fish is that the salmon actually make it. The owner of this dinghy watches as his precious little boat spins around and round, and he can't do anything to stop it. I hope he lets his intrusive thoughts win. Jump in it, you... Yeah, I was gonna say. This tugboat got a little too close for its own comfort, and now it's about to meet its doom at the hands of this container ship. Oh, it's gone. Oh, man. 
Here is an overtake on the water which nobody could possibly have expected to happen. Sadly, that maneuver cost him his entire boat. Something tells me that this guy has probably rented this boat and is most likely his first time piloting one as well. <laughs> if you thought hey, that there man. was no such thing as police chase on the water like in GTA, then think again, because this jet ski rider says otherwise. At this dock, things went from a standstill to all hell breaking loose in a matter of oh, seconds. All thanks baby, to this man. idiot who caused all of it. Ghost Riders are real as this person shows a boat driving on its own, but there seems to be someone still talking to this guy. When you're going over shallow area unless you've decreased RPM. No, because During a marriage proposal, this couple got a little too excited when the lady said yes and pressed on the gas. Memorable Whoop. at the very least, am I right? Mistakes were made and so were regrets as you can see from the look on his face. The poor guys are nowhere and all they can do is wait. Here is a visual representation of all my brain cells joining forces to help me solve a problem. However, the problem here is created by these people themselves. Forget a superhero entrance, red carpet walks, or appearing out of thin air, because this is the most grand sort of entrance anyone could ever make. If there is one reason why I hate sailboats, at what point do you look at that and go, I can jump that? Yeah, that's a great <laughs> idea. Yeah. I'll tell you what that is. After 15 Coronas and a couple it's of cocktails. Absolutely. There's people on there that. sort of like having a picnic and stuff on the yeah. that beach thing. Yeah. Absolutely I, crazy. I suspect they were all together. Yeah. For some yeah. reason. Yeah. It is because of this exact reason here. When the wind picks up speed, you're done for, my friend. Take a moment to realize what is wrong with this boat. If you have not figured it out yet, look underneath the boat. The person was in so much of a hurry that they didn't have time to detach the trailer. The trailer. Oh, <laughs> this person wow. decided to jump across a small piece of land with his boat, but ended up getting sand in his mouth. Even on water, this dude has all six wanted stars on him as the cops try and chase him in boats and a helicopter. You're not getting away, are you? No. <laughs> I mean, he's not exactly got a, a military ship as These well. These guys are having yeah. a brain plug issue, and now they don't know what to do after messing oh. up in the first place. That's it. Have Expen you ever partied? Expensive mistakes, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. I think one of those, I mean... Hmm. Someone always says to me about buying a boat, he always says, best boat to have is someone else's. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. Couldn't agree more with yeah. that. I knew someone that had a speedboat years ago when I was younger, mm. and it's like they get it out two weeks of the year. They go to North Wales on it. Yeah, yeah. it's like the, the expense mm. and then any damage that can get done. Everything's on you. Yeah, and like you say, get on someone else's. Yeah, when we lived in the Middle East, it was easy to have one because it was around the water mm. warm yeah. all year round. Yeah, and it was like it was, it was loads available because people it's a transient place. And I was like, should we get one? I was like, yeah. Just not my scene, though, the scene. No. Yeah. So well, I was like, you know. I was going to say, it, I wouldn't mind if it's a speedboat, if it's on maybe a lake or something like that. Yeah. Nice summer's day, that'd be great, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, but, but it's good. I used to go out yeah. with my mate, do like water skiing and stuff like that, but not like, I uh, just couldn't be arsed with it. Yeah. He's, he's washing it down at the end, and I'm like, just pay that guy over there, like 20 quid, he'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard that you forget who was driving the boat? This is what happened to these frat kids who got a little too immersed in the party aspect of their trip. Here's another man who wanted to skip along a small piece of land, but forgot to pull his motor up and also how to stop at the end. Why don't we have automatic drain plugs on boats yet for people like these who don't know how to tackle waves on their boat? So before you, the girl's day out trip goes it. bad when a boat was trying to overtake them, miscalculates the trajectory and slams right into them. Chad here can't seem to understand how to stop ramming his yacht into the other boats, so he does what he does best. Keeps ramming the situation away. So this guy found out where the accelerator on this jet ski was, but before finding the brakes and his skills, he just let it rip. Here is another ghost ship making its way on the docks. How do people even get into this situation? 
Christmas came early, and so did Santa's off-boarding as he tries to jump oh, safely no. landing on his face. Yeah. The race was up. going perfectly, and both boats were head-to-head -head on this going nearly 100 miles an hour, when suddenly the other racer hits turbulence. Oh. There is always someone who thinks there's enough space to go through, even when there is clearly not enough space to go through. Jet skis are the most volatile vehicles on the water, if you ask me. With so much randomness going on, I won't be surprised if I saw two hit like this in front of me. They say the bigger they are, the harder they fall. So the smaller they are, the more hilarious it would be. What is that little boat? <laughs> like a, it's, a, it's a training boat, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's like what they use for like, sailing schools to get ah, started. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a it's like a little bath in it. <laughs> the sail. <laughs> You see them in like you know, these like, little um, marinas or like school marinas and all that. Yeah. Going the, yeah. Have about 50 of them lined up. Yeah. They, they have a school, sailing them. school. There's yeah. a sailing club near me, but mm. I've just never looked at it on Bud Budworth Mere. <clears throat> but it's the other side of the lake, so I've never actually gone close enough to see. Swim over. What they're using. I'd like to, but yeah, blue green algae signs everywhere. Yeah. That's the stuff that makes yeah. you ill. Uh. Here is a bunch of jet skiers about to make a turn, and now. What I do know about boats is that you should never get too close to land. But this Wee. guy probably never heard that. <laughs> Even the cops can have an oopsie moment while on the waters. They try and try but get nowhere when they wanted to go past the breakers. Why do some ships even have that little bridge nose on the front? Because that is only going to be a hazard, no? <laughs> run, little well children, said. run. The buffoon on the jet ski is coming for you. That was a very close call, and I think that this was the last time the parents gave him the jet ski. Ever see a boat getting T-boned? Well, here it is. And guess who is at fault? The sailboat, of course. Oh my God. Oh. Next, we have another one taking a beating, but this time from someone a hundred times bigger than itself. Look at how long that thing is. Wow. I mean, First, it's we had small well, runaway it? boats. But this it's not that though, mate. Have you ever been to like Cow's Week? Um, have you ever done Cow's Week on the Isle of Wight? No. Right, it's a big yeah. sailing like, regatta. So like, everyone who's into sailing goes to Cow's Week. There's all kinds of racing going on. But it's also a channel that gets into Southampton um, that cuts through. And you've got all boats going around, like sailboats going around. And right in the middle of it, you've got them big container ships going right through. Wow. Yeah, it's a, he's, I'm just looking, thinking, that's, that's I know, a, yeah, yeah, actually waiting clear. to happen. Just a bit. Yeah, you'd like Cow's Week, Dave. Go down, proper buzzing. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's great for the kids as well. Kids would love it. I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's on the Isle of Wight. Hmm. I'll have a look at some point. This time we have a proper sail yacht going mayhem around other ships. <laughs> Here it comes for the imminent hit against the wall. What does this guy even think that little ball is going to do? I know. Besides, he put it on the wrong side. Another tugboat takes one for the team when it could not tame this massive hulking piece that it was towing. It sank and was later recovered a year later. Good. There goes Michelle Ann. The funniest part is not this guy crashing, but the funniest part is the fact that he tried to steer the boat as if it was a car and land. This little boat seems to be <laughs> indulging itself in the wonders uh. of insurance scams because these two boats and barges move very slow. Family trip wow. goes south when the boat they were on decides to sink down below and take its one hundred and sixty thousand dollar worth to the bottom of the sea. With it. Happens in split wow. second That's with boats as well, doesn't it? it? Can do yeah, it could be gone in seconds. Yeah. Just for careless carelessness. It's an expensive mistake. Yeah, yeah. isn't it? No, it really is. Yeah. But like you say, if you're on someone else's boat. As long as you're safe, you're like, <laughs> bye boat. After a long night of partying and drinking, a girl decides to park the boat, but only oh. at full speed, and smacks it right into another boat, almost causing casualties. Nice boat, that as well. Yeah. This boat is coming in for a crash docking, not a crash landing, and breaks like a twig at the front when it makes contact with the wall. 
In a battle of egos, nobody wanted to turn away, and now they have each other right in front of them and oh, crashing because of wow. their ignorance. I would never even bring my phone on top of a boat like this, but this guy brought his laptop. He ends up learning the hard way <laughs> of what I meant. The engine does not seem to be starting, and everyone else seems to be sleeping, but not for long. The boat wakes up with a bang, <laughs> so does everyone on board. <laughs> Pontoons are meant for the seas where everything is calm most of the time, but bringing one out to the ocean is just like putting your head in the mouth of a crocodile. <laughs> then these people wonder why their overheating alarm goes off so much. Why would you come here in the first place? What are you doing? It's on the water, is it? Like the people before this time, even the captain is sleeping, and nobody is looking at where the boat is going. Well, like you said day before, all that space. It's almost like because something's there, people are veering towards it. Yeah. Well, that's what you do when you're sailing a boat. You get something in the distance to sort of use that as a guidance. So right. So you keep the boat straight. Otherwise, you can go all over the place, can't you? Yeah. yeah. So when you're staring, especially with a... I don't know, a wheel, you're looking at it and you think a point to that if you're going towards that yeah. way. But I think, I'm not talking about that, you're not using that as a point of a reference. No. no. Using that as a point of reference to get round. That's what I mean. It's the, I say to the kids riding their bikes, if you look at something, you're going to go that way. Mm. So when you ride past me like that, it's no surprise that you start going like that. Yeah, yeah. And I wonder if some of these people are doing the same. Yeah. <laughs> All, that's just so incredible, it? Yeah, All that space on one thing there. Oh, man. Somebody. Please help this guy, because it was oh, such a shame uh, watching such no. a good motor get ruined like that in the hands of someone with no uh, brain. This has to be the most random way to launch a boat. What else did he expect was going to happen, if he launched it like that? This guy turned oh so hard God. that he fell into the water, and his center control was no longer in the center like before. These guys are threading the needle on this dock, but their method of doing so is not oh. so polite if you ask me. Wow. Breaking through the water at full speed is a dumb move. And these guys came very close to Jesus explaining to them why it was so. Oh, why? Uh. What happened? <laughs> uh. What happened there? I thought it just disappeared. <laughs> well, there's a picture that come right up right at the end. I know, yeah. <laughs> Weird. Did you see the picture right at the end, or did you miss it? I didn't, I missed it. What was it? Just a girl stood there in a bikini. That'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> That'll be how they've done the thumbnail uh, like that. Okay, right. I've right. seen a few videos yeah. do that yeah. recently where you get yeah. that half a second of yeah, some boobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky. We never do that. Uh, yeah, some crazy know. people in the waters, though, isn't they? Some of the steering there, especially docking them. I mean, the Bad. speeds that they're going at, it's like absolutely crazy. Yeah. I can only imagine, like I said, they've been... Yeah, I think, that's, I think definitely drinking comes into it's effect just, on many of them. It's just stupidity, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. But that's like say, I suppose if you don't need a license for just like little boats like that, you are going to get people that have never used them yeah. before, and right. they probably probably think it's like a car and they can just pull yeah. straight away and yeah. quick. But yeah. it's totally different way of yeah. sailing, isn't it? Than yeah. driving. So can you get in trouble for being drunk in charge of a boat? Uh, you can. I, I guess it depends you on the country, I think. Certainly, certainly the bigger ones, I know you can. You can get oh, like, like ferries you, and stuff. Yeah, but get, I mean, like yeah, you these get people. In for it. I mean, these Straight people, off. like, on a, like a, a little... Uh, I would guess I would have so, thought yeah. Over here, yeah. Though, yeah. There's still sort of rules you have to obey by if you're out yeah. on the sea and even lakes and stuff, yeah, isn't I think there? There's yeah. a lot of, I think there's a lot of countries you probably wouldn't. Right. You know, yeah. If you're you know, sailing off the coast of Somalia, I think you might be all right. I think a lot of people used to go and, like... For drinking, anyway. Go, go on barges, because a lot of thing about barge yeah. trips is going to a pub stop in there. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. A few more miles, stop at the next one, so yeah. I think a lot of people A few more miles. Do to get 100 metres takes about an hour and a half. It was <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing with uh, the thing with the barge is people live on them though, so there's maybe yeah. different rules like caravans because for the yeah. Water there, yeah. yeah. So you, you're basically drunk in charge of a vehicle All when you're just relaxing, yeah, watching yeah. the TV or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. if you're moored, I think it might be different. Yeah. Right, probably you know, the old things behind because you, you get a lot of ships have casinos on them, don't you? Yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. So that with the they're moored, they're anchored. True. So. That's right. Anyway, good that. Oh, enjoyed that. Yeah. Idiots. Okay, idiots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolute idiots. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Don't forget like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers guys. guys.